circumstances for cryoneurolysis, do you do a block first? And if you do it, do you do it the same day or do you do it and then bring them back for the, the neurolysis? Yeah, good question. And yeah, I, I know it's it's probably been talked about before on, on some other podcasts, but you know, I, for, we'll just say for instance, for non-cancer related pain, okay. almost always I'm doing a block prior to. So if it is for say the, the genicular nerve, you know, again, kind of going to our algorithm of, of sort of how we treat knee pain. A lot of patients were, were triaging with the block, you know, unless they come to us with, uh, you know, recurrent hemarthrosis or things like that. We're, we're, we're kind of going to the block first to see if that works. And if it does, then we're going to the ablation. Um, you know, same with, with the pudendal and, you know, intercostal and things like that. It's kind of a dress rehearsal for me and, and for the patient. Um, to sort of understand, you know, not only are we trying